Finland passes new trans rights laws on gender recognition. Here's a summary of the article. Iran will continue to restrict access to Instagram and WhatsApp, the country's president Ibrahim Raisi announced on Wednesday. Iranian authorities responded ferociously to the demonstrations, blocking internet access and violently cracking down on protesters. Employees in Iran, including those inside government departments, have reported spending large amounts of time at work with nothing to do, amid the internet shutdowns. Even before the protests, internet access in Iran was heavily restricted. Huge numbers of Iranians use VPNs to access web pages hosted outside the country, through new restrictions have made it increasingly difficult to use the tools. On Wednesday, 480 international figures, from Nobel laureates to actors, issued a statement stressing that protesters in Iran, deserve unwavering support from the lovers of freedom in the world. Young women have played a pivotal role in the demonstrations that first focused on the strict Islamic dress codes in Iran, which are deeply unpopular among large sections of the population. This post received a score of 8,100, with an upvote ratio of 86%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Greater than amendments also abolish a provision that required transgender people to provide a medical certificate proving they were infertile or sterilized before the government would recognize their gender identity. This is the most important part. A lot of European countries' transgender laws still have this stipulation, and, for example in Germany, There's a law in the making that would pay reparations to trans people that had to be chemically sterilized before being able to change their birth certificate, i.e. name and sex. Damn, that's really fucked up. Why would the laws have this in the first place? Like, surely they didn't just come out and say, we don't want trans people to have children. In Germany, the law came into effect after the constitutional court judged in favor of a transgender woman in 1978 to be allowed to change her name. The following law came in 1980 and was since then dragged to the constitutional court a handful of times for violating the German constitution. Back then, chemical sterilization and forced divorcement was a requirement to change your name under these laws. Subsequently, almost all of these stipulations have been declared unconstitutional, although, sadly, only in the the year 2005 to 2011. I didn't realize it was so widespread, but, why? What is the supposed reasoning for it? Reality is when these laws were made it wouldn't have even been questioned why they were needed. That was just how it was and the conception of gender identity and what being trans means would have been far more simplistic and set in the ideas of a gender binary, which would have involved a trans person having already gone through as full a transition as medically possible at that time. You have to understand that if you go much before 2005, you're in an era where trans people would be denied treatment for being attracted to the same gender they identify with or for not wearing gender-appropriate clothing. That particular argument would be that it's needed to prove that a change of sex has actually occurred, that the system isn't being abused to gain access to opposite sex spaces or rights, and that without safeguards you'd see a wave of sexual violence sweep the country. Greater than Finland has passed a new, progressive rights law which makes it substantially easier for trans people to change their legal gender. Also, trans people no longer have to prove that they're sterile in order to do so. Pardon me? In many countries we are not allowed to change documentation to show the correct gender without meeting certain conditions and being sterile is common. Some countries require gender-affirming bottom surgery before you can do anything at all, which implies sterility anyway. And not all trans people can afford a want surgery. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.